Hi guys, it is the end of day two, and I am exhausted. <laughs> um, excuse my forehead pimples. Try to cover them. <laughs> <sighs> oh my gosh, you guys. I was only there from 9 to 1, so what's that, 4 hours? And that day just beat me up, man. So, today we learned pedicures, and I'm actually excited because we're actually allowed to do pedicures on people now, like clients. So, yeah. It's awesome. Uh, they're super easy and I had a fun time doing it. And I actually did a pedicure today. I've done one on myself a couple times and my mother. Uh, the way it's said in the Milady textbook, but we just watched um, one of the cosmetologists who also knows how to do pedicures uh, perform one on our instructor. And their process was actually simpler uh, than the Milady textbook way. So that's cool. Um, it's nice to know that we have a range of different kinds of techniques and steps that we can take and just make them our own. Um, but I did learn it is illegal in the state of Utah to do cuticle cutting. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. I actually enjoyed giving a pedicure and I was really nervous uh, what the student was thinking that I was performing it on. But as soon as I kind of got out of my head with that a little bit, I was just going with the flow and she seemed to enjoy it. So yeah, that was fun. Other big news. We got our kits today. So I'm going to be doing my unboxing video. Probably a little unenthusiastically. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, it was fun. I, I learned a lot. My school hooked me up. You guys. So I didn't open my kit yet. Uh, once we got in there... Once we started getting our kits, everybody was, it was like Christmas. Everybody was flying, papers flying, cardboard flying everywhere. Everybody was so excited, and I was just in the corner of the room like, uh, I want to take a nap. <laughs> I also wanted to save the unboxing for you guys as well, so you could see as I'm getting it. So let's get into it. Here it all is, guys. We have a lot to unbox here. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know if I should fill my face or fill my hands. I don't really have a stand. It's a huge box. A couple of EG kits. Oh, this is a different brand. Okay. But I think my nail school did me good, guys. I think they did me good. I spent a lot on this nail kit, and they gave me a lot, so I ain't mad. Boring, but essential. We got these professional towels. No lint, no laundry, just luxury. So, um, hopefully they're supposed to be used just for a coat. That's what my instructor said. And she cuts them into four. Uses one per client, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. She'll tell us later. And then we have this giant roll of nail forms. I better like these because I'm going to have to use a lot of them. So. Um. Got some sanding bands. Medium grit. Useful. Got some white tips. Eh, I'm not a fan of white tips, but we'll see how it goes. And then we got this cuticle bit. I personally prefer round ones, but I'm sure I'll learn how to use this correctly and learn to love it even more. Okay. 
And we got, this is my first carbide drill bit, carbide safety bit. So that's going to be fun to use. And just, who cares about that, right? <laughs> the, ooh, we got all kinds of forms, guys. I'm going to have to pick out my favorite ones and order some more in the future. Because I'm pretty sure there's more forms, but yes, we will see and clean. Nail cleaner for artificial nails. So I'm guessing this is like the on vogue version of swipe. Oh, and this is all on vogue products except for the drill bits. So, and sanding bands. So th this bag is on vogue and then the next one is EG. And then we got Simply Super Shine. I'm excited to see to use this because my top coat that I'm using right now is Beetle's Gel Polish top coat and it sucks. So I'm ready for an upgrade, you guys. Okay, we have Fiber Gel. Simply Super Bond. I'm assuming this is a primer. More tips. Oh, these are flat. And it looks like these other ones are curved. I don't really like curved tips. I think this is my personal preference. I think curved nails are super ugly. If you get curved nails, that's fine. That's fine if you like it. But like, I don't. So probably won't be using the curved tips. Simply connect. Is this primer too? Da -da -da. Yeah, I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I'm unboxing it for you. I mean, what do you expect? I'm not a nail tech yet. Tip adhesive. Nail glue. I don't know why they all call it some different names. Ooh, and we got this nice brush. I'm assuming this is a gel brush. Maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm smart. But you can't lay acrylic with that. And all of these other products are gel. So, must be some files and a buffer. Nothing that exciting. Okay, ooh, and here's where we get to the cool stuff. Simply white. So this is hard gel, I'm assuming. I believe this is hard gel. Let's open her up. Good, the seal's on. So this is in white. I'm not going to open this up right now because I don't want to. And then this is clear. Everybody needs clear. And then we have blush. So I'm assuming that is a nude. So that's everything in the first bag. So next we're opening the EG bag. Ooh, and I like acrylic more than gel. I know people are kind of phasing it out, but I don't want it to be phased out because I love it. So just the paper. Yep, I was right. More forms. And it even comes with a little instruction sheet. And I don't want to dig into this and have to put everything back. We got a monomer. I can't wait to try, um, crap, what's his Instagram name? He sells a coffee scented monomer. And I can't wait to try it. Some clear tips. Oh, yay. Even though they're curved, as long as they're clear, they're only slightly curved, if you can tell. So I'm not too mad about that curve. That curve looks a little bit more natural than the in vogue ones. Um, buffing block. Nail brush. What's the handle on this? Oh yes, some basic 
powders. So we have clear, sheer pink, and white. So I'm gonna test these against me a secret and see which one I like more. It's probably gonna be these, hopefully. <laughs> Another buffing block. It's a little damaged, but I don't care. And this one, I, I'm, I'm assuming they're both buffing blocks, right? I don't know. We've got our monomer jar, and ooh, this lid is actually really nice for actually keeping that monomer in there. So I have a few monomer jars, and even if there's a lid on it, it evaporates anyways. So we will see. Let's see. More nail tip glue, I'm assuming. It says brush on glue, but probably the same thing. It's very liquidy, so. More files, who cares? More acrylic, oh yes. So these are Concealer Pink and Concealer Peach. So I'm guessing it's just like based on what skin tone you have. Um, you would want to match a different nude with everybody. So someone has um, medium skin, you want to use a more neutral tone. If somebody has fair skin like me, you want to use something pink. Ooh, so this is UV Gloss Gel. This is Adhesion Enhancer. <laughs> I hate that they all have different names for the same thing. Ooh, a pipette. So freaking handy. <laughs> you have no many times how... You have no idea how many times I've been doing nails and thought, oh man, I really wish I had a pipette right now. That's freaking awesome. Thank you. Cuticle oil? Essentia oil. You know what? I have to take this out and smell it right now. I'm going to tell you guys what it smells like. Hmm. I don't really have the best sense of smell, but it smells like grandma, but in a good way. Like, not the gross floral perfumey part, but the warm and cozy part when you hug grandma. <laughs> okay. Gel glass top coat. Ooh. Out, you guys acid free primer and we get one brush uh, I think this is a size 8 it says 8 so probably I'm going to treat it like my baby because these brushes are so 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 precious alright I'm going to pack this up and then I'm going to show you guys my nail drill Guys, I love the name of this nail drill. The Bruce Almighty. Did anybody else watch that show? I watched it when I was way too young. So, if you want one, here's the number and the website. There you go. But I, I heard glowing recommendations about this nail drill. So, that's good. Some very old looking pictures. getting kind of worried okay put the drills <laughs> oh okay phew this looks a lot fresher okay so I'm gonna show you guys this last oh it has a foot pedal how awesome all right so we have the motor This thing is heavy, guys. And then we have the foot pedal. So 
we don't have to use our hands. Cool. I mean, of course we have to use our hands. I'm assuming this is some sort of dust-free cap. Um, this is to hold your drill with. Set it down. Fancy, fancy. Sorry guys, I'm tired. Getting a little weird here. Ooh, and this lovely little thing. This is the most this is the most expensive part, my teacher says. So I'm not gonna take it out yet. Because I don't want to until we use it. <laughs> this thing is heavy too. But you can tell, like, this is quality. Compared to the $65 Amazon one I have. Maybe it's even $45. <laughs> I don't know how much that thing was. It was cheap. <laughs> and it felt cheap. And this does not feel cheap. So she said, this is like $300 and this is like $30. <laughs> Don't drop it. The huge box, right? Where did the phone go? Ow! Don't mind me, just bending my nail. Sorry about if my butt's in frame. Let's move this a little bit so we can actually. Oh, there we go! Sorry, it was blurry. Alright, first time opening this box. Let's hope it, nothing's damaged. Okay, so inside this box, we got boxes. Great. What I've always wanted. All right, here's the fun stuff. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. Okay. Let's take this out. And actually, let's take this one out first and unbox that later. And then take this one out for a minute. So I think I know what it is. Right, there's the other one. All the way down there. Oh, they really sealed this baby up. Oh, how do I go about this? Oh, there we go. Am I in frame? Yeah, I'm in frame. Let's get these pesky sides first. They're the biggest pain. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that from there. Okay, okay, the bag's already halfway up. All right, uh, I think I'm supposed to hold it like that. Yeah, that looks right. <laughs> There's a drawer, my keys, and then I'm gonna get this up and show you guys. Inside, we got this business going on. Okay, I mean, it's good for now. Portable, that's for sure. Um, but I do like that it has. Ooh. And now for the fun part. This is the fun package. Yay. So we have our silicone mat. Which shows you the shapes. And I don't know what these are for yet. But I think you can do gel polish on and make little things out of it. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see the later. So this could be really useful, guys. Excited about it. And then we have a dollar store paint palette. Nice. <laughs> I have a nicer one anyways, so. Oh, girl, I needed some of these tip cutters or nail slicer, as this brand likes to call it. That's not, <laughs> it's 
kind of a scary name. Hey, can I slice your nails? Okay. Yeah, I'm a little delirious right now. Don't judge me. Okay, yeah. Cool. I needed some of those. This is... Ooh! Yes! Okay, I just wanted to make sure... There's something in here that I can't open, and I'll explain to you why in a minute. But I just wanted to make sure this wasn't the thing, just in case. Didn't think it was, but I wanted to be sure. So we got some useful tools here. We have some nail art brushes. And let's put these to the test later against my Beatles ones. We have a dotting tool and whatever this is for brush. We have another nail. Yeah. Too tired to think of the word. Tweezers. Cuticle pusher. Right on. More pipettes. Yes! Yes, I needed some of these dotting tools. Love it. And some nail clippers. These are straight nail clippers. Ooh, that can be handy. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about. I'm not allowed to open this. Because apparently you're not allowed to use it if it's already opened for the state board test. Like, what do you think I'm going to do? Replace the odorless monomer with odory monomer? I don't know. That's stupid. But whatever. I'm going to cheat on my nail exam. So I'm going to leave this new in the bag. Not tamper with it. Because I don't want to have to buy another one. So that's for my state test, which is coming up in a few months. So we don't got to worry about it. And then this is a stew board. No polish kit. I don't plan on ever using these guys. Our teacher said she doesn't like them. You don't have to use them. I'm not going to use them, ever. <laughs> so this is nice to have peel and stick. Uh, foot pads, foot file. Yeah, it's nice. Got a bunch of files. Um, another manicure kit. We have tons of manicure tools, guys. I'm not going to open this up. I already know what's in it. So. I already have some. It's a manicure bowl. And guys, I was going to order one of these. That's super nice to have. bunch of nail tips. Nice, nice. Hope I like them. Some bling. Oh, how nice of them to give us bling. That is freaking awesome. What kind of nail kit gives you bling? Go you guys. Best school ever. Monomer jars that look like a contact lens case, I think. Yeah, double dapping dish. Okay. And then I have Oh yes. Some of these I needed more. I was running low on them. Yes. Watch scoops. And I already have a practice hand. Her name is Belinda. Um, I was hoping for one of those, like, bendy ones, but that's not what we got. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's see if it articulates better. Here. Here's the test. Nope. Just as bad as the Amazon one. Doesn't smell as bad as the Amazon one. That's bliss, but... I have another practice hand, but I'm not supposed to open this one because state boards... So, I'm not going to touch that. And last, but not least, a UV lamp. And I 
already have one of these, but it's nice to have one for each hand. Should I open it and take it out and show you guys? Yes, I should. Huh? <sighs> Ooh, yes, looks very similar to my Amazon one. Buttons are even in the same places, but. We'll also test these side by side. See which one I like more. I don't know. It might work better. It's the same amount of space though. Same detachable plate on the bottom. Just a different brand. But they feel like pretty much the same thing. This one does feel a little more weighted. So maybe it is a better value. Hmm. But... You know what I want to test? When I plug in my UV lamp, it buzzes. This part just goes zzzz. So let me test it. And I'll tell you guys if it buzzes. Do you buzz? this it's way better than my other one all right you guys that concludes my nail kit unboxing how come I can't fit these things back in the box <laughs> that concludes my nail kit unboxing thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe share with your nail tech friends just kidding, who shares these things? <coughs> and leave a comment down below. So that was my nail kit haul. This is what I got for nail school. So excited to use this stuff. Sorry all the enthusiasm is out of my voice today. I'm just too tired. But I will see you next time on my daily nail vlogs. <laughs>